Welcome everyone to Winter Night Reviews. Today we're looking at the Clydesdale. The Clydesdale was first introduced to the game in December 19th, 2018. It also goes by the name of Dale, but is best known as the Budweiser horse, especially here in America where Budweiser is a big thing. Uh, it comes in seven colors. There's Bay Sabino, Blue Roan, Black, Rose Gray, Flax and Chestnut, Black Sabino, and there's a bay horse available in the Star Stable app. The Clydesdales are found in Fort Pinta, Dundal, and Jarlson Farm. Farm, sorry, Jarlson Farm. Uh, the one in Fort Pinta is available at level one, but all the others you have to be level twelve to unlock. They all the Clydesdales are 750 star coins and are cold resistant. The Clydesdale comes with its own mane and tail style, but of course you can still use any of the traditional star stable styles. In addition, they also have uh, an additional unique mane and tail style. Each Clydesdale comes with a different set of colored ribbons, so each coat color comes with a different color. The bay, which I, this is the bay from the app, has green, the flax and chestnut has a bluish purple, and those are the two that I have, and I don't remember the other colors, but each coat color comes with its own colored ribbons. No two are the same. It also comes with its own tail style. There we go. So you can choose to do both mane and tail with the ribbons, or just the mane or just the tail. So let's take a look at the breed standards for the Clydesdale. Either straight or slightly Roman nosed. I do believe the Star Sable horses have a very, very, very slight Roman, a slightly convex nose. Um, if you've seen Romans, Roman profiles, they are well, well known for their lumpy noses, for their very prominent noses. Uh, the neck is moderate in length and not too thick. I think they've managed to pull that off well. Chest could be deep, wide, low. Oh, sorry. Chest should be deep, wide, low, and large of girth. And I, I do believe they've managed that well. This is the girth on the saddle. This is the girth strap. Or the girth strap is what goes underneath the belly. So this is the girth. And yeah. I, I think they've managed to pull off a very beautiful looking Clydesdale. Uh, the standing animations, I really, really like that head shake. It, They've managed to make it look like a heavy horse shaking its head really well. The animation is just incredible. Otherwise, I don't really care for how it stands with this back leg kind of held outwards. It looks kind of awkward and and not relaxed it doesn't look relaxed at all it looks like a show horse posing which maybe is the point maybe not but that that's the bay let's go ahead and get into the gates as you can see, I'm back here at Valdale Paddock, and after much hunting and searching and trial and error, this really is the best place to do uh, review videos. There's no text that pops up in, that gets in the way. It's large. There aren't a lot of people around. So for future videos, you can expect me to come up here, and we'll just do it in Veildale, even though it's not very original. <sighs> Sigh. Um, so yes, the gates. Let's get right into it. The walk. I like this walk. It's a very nice working horse walk. It's energetic and enthusiastic. There's good motion in both the front feet and the back feet. Although, uh, looking at the breeding site, it's or one of them, I don't remember, I searched several sites, but it did say that the back feet should be stepping into the front, into the prints left of the front 
feet. And if you look carefully, you can see that that's not the case. So there could be a lot more motion in the back feet than there currently is. So that's that's pretty standard star stable right there. There's not much motion in the back legs. Sad. Anyways, on to the trot. I love this trot. It is fabulous. This time, I think they actually did a really great job getting the back feet stepping as high and smoothly as the front feet. And it just looks amazing. I like the head position. It's relaxed, but still up, still high. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. I think this is one of my favorite shots in the game, actually. So the canter. Um, I kind of don't like how they drop their head. And... I don't know, the motion of the back legs feels a little odd to me. Like, mm, I don't know, it, it has that they're kicking back further and not lifting, not going forward enough. Which seems to be like a running theme with Star Stable, I've noticed, doing these videos repeatedly. It's, there's just not enough forward motion in the back legs. And I'm not sure why why they hesitate to do that, but they do. So, eh, it's a nice canter. It's not a horrible canter, but it's definitely not my favorite canter ever. And the extended canter. Okay, this is nice. Um, it's kind of prancy. Especially in the front legs. And again, not, not enough motion in the back legs, I feel like. Oop. Sorry, there's a gate there. Let's move back to the middle of the paddock. Um, so yeah, it's kind of kind of prancy. Um overall I don't feel like it's a bad extended canter. I do feel like they could stretch a bit more. It feels kind of like the Shires canter. And, which isn't a bad canter, but again, I feel like they could reach forward more and have more motion in the back legs. At least there's not much head bob. Well, the head itself doesn't bob, but there is kind of a lot of motion in the head. So, looking at that, here's the gallop. And I have to say, this is, again, the front legs are good. I do feel like they could reach more. Um, as I've mentioned, I like powerful gallops. I like them to really reach, put a lot of power, especially when their heads are so low. I feel like, um, there should just be a lot of power behind that gallop and there's not. Do they make this paddock smaller? It feels smaller to me. Um, like a lot smaller. Hmm. Anyways. Um, and again, the back legs, not a lot of movement. It's really stiff movement. Uh, it's just not a fabulous gallop, guys. It's really not. So let's take a look at the slide stop. Eee! It's a slide stop. I think it's one that's used frequently in other, other models, which is fine. Alright, here's the rear. I kind of like it. Eh, maybe I don't like it. It's kind of flaily with the front hose. I do like how it... Yeah, it's just flaily. I take it back. I don't like it at all. Um, so here's the jump and canter and the jump and the gallop. And yeah, they're pretty much the same. So not much difference there. Yeah. And the backup. Eh. It's a backup. It's not my favorite. It's... The front legs especially are kind of stiff. And odd. 
But uh, yeah, that's it for the Clydesdale. Okay, so the Clydesdale, is it aesthetically pleasing? Yes. Yes, I really like the model. I do have issues with most of the gates, but I really love the walk and the trot. And I'm actually usually not a huge fan of the walking gait for most of the horses, but I do really like the Clydesdales. I do wish the other gates were better, uh, but it is what it is. They're not, this is a generation three horse, so they're not going to be redoing it anytime soon. So, what rating? How would I rate this horse? Mm, that's a good question. You know, I think I'll give him a four stars. Four stars for the Clydesdale. <laughs>